Tata, just what do you think you are doing? Here I was, coming up with all sorts of fun and playful ideas of things that we could do, experiments that we could conduct here in our Sims 4 Random Pets Laboratory, and I, I, I talk to you and you're like, yes, I think a fox. A fox to be able to have crossbreed children with would be a wonderful thing. A trickster fox for the trickster Tata God, our nicheling god from our niche series, and I turn around and what do I find while I am trying to pick between a normal fox, a finnick fox, all of the different really cool foxes that we could have in the world, I find a ghost fox. A ghost fox in my laboratory! Look at this, you guys! Oh my gosh, I have never actually seen a ghost pet so up close before, but this is kind of amazing. Look at her! She is so pretty! You can hardly see her little outlines, but oh, look at that! Did you see that beautiful ripple that just like travels up her ghostly form? What? What? I don't even know who she is. Is she the ghost of a, a past love? I'm not sure. I think that Tata did actually like have an official bride in our niche series, but I have forgotten her name. So perhaps this is just that nicheling recreated. We'll have to see as a fox for some reason. But yes, so welcome back to the Random Pets Laboratory, my friends. And I had so much fun creating Tata that I just knew I would want to see some more of his children. And the idea idea occurred to me, why not see what uh, his children would be with a fox, since they both have reputations for being somewhat trickstery. And uh, yeah, somehow that line of thought ended up inviting our very first ghost pet into our wonderful laboratory. And in The Sims 4, you cannot actually have ghost pet babies that I'm aware of. So this fox gets a new lease on life, or at least her children do, through being able to uh, just go ahead and see what their kids would look like. I'm pretty darn excited. <laughs> So that's gonna be fun, and from everything that I could look up since, you know, finding a ghost fox in my laboratory was so alarming, I had to try to learn everything I could about ghost animals in The Sims 4. From what I read, the only way to get a ghost pet, thankfully, is through the peaceful way of old age. So you don't have to uh, worry about, like, one of your middle-aged normal baby or normal age pets passing away suddenly of anything. They'll be taken into protective custody before that, uh, which is a good thing, I think. But it was a little interesting. It was a little interesting to learn that because I kind of thought how cute would it be if these were ghost puppies. So I wonder if there's actually a cheat that you could use to create ghost pets in The Sims 4. And if you guys happen to know, do let me know and I might make a little video on it because there is quite a bit of storyline potential. For instance, if you have a ghost family, a vampire family, a family who dabbles a little bit in the darker side of things or the afterlife, which could not be dark. Personally, I I hope my afterlife is full of much brighter things than shadows, particularly leaves. I'll be content as long as there's leaves. But I, I digress. Basically, it hit me, how freaking cool would it be to raise ghost families? So if you guys know if there is some sort of cheat you could use to give the pets a ghost token, do please let me know, because then I have a little bit of a ghostly work to do with some of my legacy families for sure. But enough of my rambling! You are all here to see the babies between Tata, our trickster god, from our fantastic long-running niche roleplay legacies. Definitely check those out and check out our wiki link in the video description if you need a primer on who he is. And the ghost fox. So let's do this. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, you two. Well, Tata, oh my gosh, Tata. There you are having babies with a random dog. What would she look like? Oh, Tata, she looks just like you. You must be so proud. All right, so let's go ahead. Ghost fox and Tata. Baby number one. We have a little girl. We'll have to see if she grows up to be as big as her dad and inherits, uh, well, if not her, his mane, since females in niche don't inherit the manes. Uh, we'll see if she inherits his paws. So there we go, one little girl. And, <gasps> look at you, cutie patootie. Oh my gosh, and there's the second child. Oh boy, they're definitely not turning out the way I thought, but I freaking love, oh! 
That's a ghost puppy if you ask me. This is definitely a ghost puppy. We are having ghost puppies. Nothing can convince me differently. Look at this little one. How could you not look at this little guy and be like, yup, that's definitely a ghost puppy. That's amazing. Oh, da da. Let's go ahead and see the other ones. Oh, we've got an all black little one now. What the heck? They're almost all little girls. This is so exciting. <gasps> oh, you precious boo. Look at you. Oh. Wow. She would grow up into quite the big bodied, handsome Nishling. Oh my gosh. But we are looking for Ghost and Tata. Oh, come on. These are clearly ghost puppies. <laughs> nothing, nothing can convince me otherwise. Tata, you and this wonderful ghost fox are having ghost puppies. Literally nothing else. Of course, our trickster god would want to be the first to have like ghost puppies in our, our Sims 4 laboratory. Ah, uh, let's see. Three, four, five, six, seven. So this will be the very last one. I'm actually pretty intrigued at how they didn't inherit Tata's coloring at all. Look at that. Look at that. All right. So here we are, my friends. I, I feel like we need to give all of them names because now I am ridiculously attached to each and every one. I want to give them personalities and I want to give them names before they grow up or else I might be tricked into having a little bit of a bias over what they should be named. So this is Daughter of the Trickster. I'm going to name her um, Juniper. So we're gonna have Juniper right over here. Uh, well, actually, Junebug, let's go with Junebug. She just reminds me of like a little Junebug. She's so cute. I really, I, I sense from playing with this puppy and examining her DNA that she's quite the playful little one who very much likes going outside and she's super friendly. The fact that her mother is a fox and her father is a uh, trickster god, we'll have to see how that influences her. So Junebug, grow up, my dear. One of my favorite ever pups that we have had born in our laboratory. I cannot imagine life without her. I need to add her into my Sims 4 legacies somehow. Oh my gosh. I've got to upload her on the gallery when I'm done so that y'all can have Junebug because look at how sweet she is. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And her mother's a ghost dog. Speaking of ghost dogs, I feel like a couple of these pups, definitely the ones with red eyes and perhaps even the little black one, represent some of that ghostly essence that their mother had. And I feel this little guy, who may grow up to have his father's mane if he turns out to be of Tata's size, small dogs can't inherit those manes and females don't either, I feel this little guy is a little bit of a sleuth because he can kind of sense something. Something's a little off. He may not be a ghost dog himself, but he can he can just tell there's something going on. But I also think he's a little bit of a couch potato. I'm just getting that vibe. Oh, your baby. I'm just getting that vibe from him too. And I feel like he is pretty, he, he's on the edge of being jumpy, but if he has somebody he can be loyally attached to and feel safe with, then he won't be quite so jumpy. So what am I gonna name you, little one? Descended from the trickster god and a ghost. I kinda wanna name you, um, Patches for some, why am I thinking Patches? Do you remind me of my squirrel Patches that we have in the backyard? Um. I kind of want to name him like Henry. I'm just getting all these like calm names that make you think about just taking a long, long nap out in the nice sunlight. What, what does that, Hobbs? We're going to go with Hobson. Hobson. There you go, Hobson. Or Hobbly. 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 Okay, unexpected name, but it just seems that that is the one that he has chosen. So let's see what he looks like as an adult. <laughs> oh my gosh. I wish 
might be a little jumpy too, Hobbly. You you actually look like a house elf. You look kind of like a house elf. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my gosh. Maybe his owner really loves Harry Potter and just we should rename him Dobby. Dobby. Oh, that's Hobbly. Dobby. Ah, you, he knew it. He knew what his name should have been. That's amazing. All right, and we have a little boy here who I am like 100% certain is definitely, definitely uh, a ghost pup. And so I think that he is actually a little bit more of a hunter, very aggressive or very adventurous uh, compared to the others. And I think that he is a bit of a troublemaker after his father. I'm just kind of sensing, oh, thanks buddy. I'm just kind of sensing all of those things about him. And I think I'm going to name him, let's see, we're going to go ahead, I wish I could, we're going to name him uh, Ash Shadow. I'm trying to think of the description of the moonlight on a star, or like on a starless night, moonlight on a starless night in a dark forest. There's something a little bit eerie about this pup that is just making me kind of pause slightly. So let's go ahead and name him, hmm, Eerie. I just feel like, I feel like you wouldn't want to turn your back on him too quickly because he would trick you. He has got a lot of his father's tricksterness. Uh, he's got a lot of ghostness in him. Who's a famous trickster ghost? I'm just going to name him Ghost for now because he definitely, it's, it's just kind of a placeholder name. Maybe he hides his name, but I just, there's something about him that I think inherited both the ghost line and quite a bit of the trickster's tricks. But let's see if he inherited anything else from his father. Small dog, big dog. <gasps> big dog! Oh, he's so cool looking! Look at him! Look at him! And you know what that means, my friends. As a large dog, he will actually inherit the Nishling, um, the Nishling mane. We're gonna make it all white. He literally is like Yuki or Lala having been reborn, but not this time. Not this time, our albino snowy god. And we'll go ahead and I'm gonna roll a dice. Not the one that Tata had roll under my desk the other day that I still haven't fetched. And he did actually not inherit his father's paws, uh, which is a little bit of a pity. I really wanted him to have his father's really cool looking, like, paws. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna roll again. Best two out of three. Bah! All right, so he didn't inherit his father's paws, which is such a pity, but it kind of is a really fun way to play with that. And imagine uh, it's just like a niche where you're like, darn, I got so many of the traits I wanted, but we didn't inherit the mutation I wanted the parent to pass on. Man, that's cool. Ghost, welcome to the family. I think that you have a Trixie, as in Trixie. Uh, a little sister who is quite excited to grow up and be the troublemaker who's extremely playful and actually quite friendly. So I get the feeling that Trixie also wants to be a little bit of a handful, but unlike her brother, she doesn't have the eerie, slightly spooky aspect about it. She just uh, is very extremely playful and might embody the playfulness of the trickster god line. So what does she grow up into? Oh, look at you, Trixie. Do you inherit your father's paws? Yay! She actually inherits her father's paws. Look at her. Oh, I would love to just come up and give this dog a good cuddle, wouldn't you? I mean, until maybe you look down at the paws. Do mind the claws, after all. But Trixie, you're so cool looking. Oh my gosh. So, so far, our two ghostly children definitely follow along their father's and mother's footsteps. And I feel like this is another one who's a little bit cautious. So we're going to have a slightly jumpy sleuth who I think... I think that she's a slightly, slightly jumpy sleuth who I think is very loyal to like one person because she too is easily afraid. So what are we going to name you, little one? You do remind me of the ghost, like Trixie and Ghost himself. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we have a house elf dog. That's so funny. I'm going to go ahead and actually name her Kanina. 
No idea why, it's just the name that popped into my head. I should probably start requesting some of you guys to please leave some name suggestions in the comments so that I can start giving some useful names to our little ones. Many of these might be renamed if you guys end up coming up with something truly fantastic. But let's see what little Karina will grow up into. <gasps> She's so lovely. She definitely looks permanently startled, though. <laughs> Karina, that's so cute. She also did not inherit her father's uh, paws, unfortunately. It looks like she has a very fluffy tail. Possibly she got that from her mom. And she looks perpetually concerned. I love it. She's so adorable. And all right, let's do the final little child. This one is just such a cute little cinnamon bun. I think we're actually gonna name this uh, Bun Bun because it reminds me of a cinnamon bun. Uh, and of course, niche names are all over the place. Uh, let's go ahead and what do I feel? Definitely very friendly. I'm feeling super friendly from this one. What else do I feel? I'm actually feeling couch potato and I'm feeling hairy. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's what I'm getting from Bun Bun, child of the trickster god and our, uh, our ghost fox. The very last one. <gasps> oh my gosh, she grew into her ears and she literally has, like, bunny ears. She lives up to the name of Bun Bun. <laughs> That's fantastic! And she too did not inherit her father's paws. So there we go, guys. This is actually amazing. Look at the variety we got from Junebug to Hobbly, to Ghost, Trixie, Kanina, and Bun Bun. I feel that all of the children somehow grew into their names. That was so cool. I love all of the stories that you just innately have as well. And I love uh, what Tata's children have turned out to look like. So Tata, that was round one. We might have to finally corner you and a Finnick Fox at some point in the future. But that was really fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Do please leave a like to toss some wonderful berry treats or bunnel pieces to our new array of nicheling dog hybrids. And if you guys would like, do please consider subscribing to join us for this and literally thousands more adventures. And let me know, who should we see next here in the Labargatory? What kind of crossbreeds should we do? Because this is ever oh so much fun. So all right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.